A little art teaching riddle for you. What do you call somebody who buys something that they don't need? If you guess shopaholic, you would be wrong because the answer is a forward thinker. And I pride myself in being a really good forward thinker many times a week. At the Dollar Tree, I'm a forward thinker. At Target, Dollar Spot, oh, there's all sorts of forward thinking happening there. You name it, I'm probably shopping it and buying it because that's the kind of dedicated forward thinker that I am. Take that, hubs. Let's talk about one of my latest purchases that I bought and I had no clue what I was going to use them for, but I had to have them because, ahem, <clears throat> forward thinker here. These caution signs I found at the Dollar Tree. Caution Rockstar at work, Caution Genius at work, Superstar at work, and Whiz Kid at work. If these look familiar to you, it's because way back when I bought them in July, I shared them when I talked about my love affair with the Dollar Anyway, I finally figured out what to do with them. So I have a fourth grade class. I um, actually have two fourth grade classes this year that are combined, meaning when I see a group of fourth graders, it's about 35 kids in a room because it's two classes mashed together. I did that to myself. I take full responsibility, but it was my only way of getting a good chunk of time with my kids. But I digress. 35 kids in the room can get a little bit loud for my taste and sometimes we're not quite as focused as I would like because there's 35 of us in here to be chatting with. So I have devised a little system that I literally pulled out of my hat. Um, so it would be this. What I did was this. I said, you know, I'm looking around the room and I see that I have a couple of tables because my tables are two together. So I actually have um, eight tables. Um, I see that there's a group of tables that are working really hard and quietly. And I have decided that they are the rock stars of the room. You could have heard a pin drop when I placed this on their desk. They were like, what? They puffed up a wee bit as they should because they were working hard. And then I told them I'm going to set my timer for seven minutes. In seven minutes, the rock star table is going to pick the next table that is the set of rock stars. So I set my timer and the kids all started settling in and working hard because they wanted their table to be the next table of rock stars. When the timer went off, you wouldn't believe how much serious conversation went into which table was the best one. And then they delivered this to that table. And we had a little bit of a cheer and a whoo and then we set the timer again for seven minutes. Now, at the end of class, as you can imagine, things start to get a little bit, yeah, our table hasn't gotten picked yet. So I made sure to say, you know, the last table that gets picked doesn't just get this on their table, but they also get to decide some things. They get to decide who lines up. One of them will be chosen to play the cleanup gong. Their table also gets to line up collectively first, which for some reason is a big deal. I don't understand why since we all line up in alphabetical order. But whatever, I'm not going to fight it. So I just thought I'd share with you this quick and easy little thing that worked for me in my room and I'm hoping it continues to work. Even a friend suggested having the rock stars have some fancy like sunglasses or something really cool in addition to just this being on the table, which I love that idea. I especially love any kind of classroom management that relieves me of the job. I like putting the kids in charge of the happy sad board. You've heard me talk about that and things like this. So there you have it. Rock stars at work in the art room. Talk to you guys soon.